Hey everybody, it's Joy Verts, and I hope that you liked my tip on using work prints to reduce your overall errors. And I want to show you how to make a Photoshop brush file, which is going to make creating those work prints a breeze. So basically, all you have to do is go ahead and start a new Photoshop file. And then I made this one about five by five and a half or so, which seems to be an appropriate size. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to define brush preset and you're going to name it whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to call it work print brush and you hit OK. And now when you go ahead into your brushes preset right here, you're going to find that up here, if you do your drop down, here is your new Photoshop brush that you just created and you can go ahead and just resize it. And then we can go ahead and stamp it on any of our images. And now we're going to go ahead and print that through the lab. And this is what our client is going to come back in and take a peek at. So it's not going to look like it's a final image because it has your, um, you know, the writing right on it. And we're going to actually have the client with a Sharpie or a pen go ahead and circle anything that they would need changed. And they're going to go ahead and sign off on that. And then we'll put that in part of their file to um, make sure that, you know, they've accepted it. So I hope that that was helpful. We use the same technique also to create logo brushes and things like that that we would be stamping onto any of our images for websites. So I hope you found that helpful. Have a great day.